There's something wonderful about wandering a city's streets with no destination. Right. So if that's north, that means... Wait, that's not right. Oh, more was mercy. A little help, anyone? Are you from around here? Sorry, I'm not familiar with Gideon and... Wait, are you here because of my flyers? Thank Rupka. Call me Yasara. I'm here on a thrilling, inspirational journey, and I could really use a sturdy companion. I'm an author, aspiring, really. I've penned a few romance novels, but they all lack, what's the word? Authenticity, yes. So I resolved to get out into the world and find my muse. Now, here's the exciting part. I found it in Castle Gia Vess. Yes, well, not exactly. A tragic affair played out there years ago, and love-struck spirits still haunt the castle. I acquired a magic lantern that allows me to speak to the ghosts. But you know, ghosts. I need you to ward off the angrier spirits. Thank you for agreeing to accompany me. With your help, my next romance novel will be a masterpiece. Here, take the lantern. Now, fair warning, I've never actually used it, but I heard a ghostly woman wanders the city gardens. We can test it there. Well, I can tell you it's alien in origin. It's, you know, it's quite lovely, and it lets you talk to ghosts. Oh, that's easy. You just sort of jiggle it or something. Look, I'm an impulse buyer, but I'm certain it will work. The orc I bought it from is a very reputable dealer. The ghost won't be able to resist its glow. You'll see. Yes. Well, I fancy myself one at any rate. My novels receive mixed reviews, but romance is a tough genre, you know? All those stuffy critics want his highbrow, elf in a parlor broods over losing his father's fortune type stuff. What a snooze. Because I'm a romantic, you silly. I mean, sure, I've never been in a really serious relationship, but let's be honest. Tales of people settling into stable marriages and living happy, fulfilling lives don't sell. People want passion, danger. Oh yes, maybe too much. Castle Gia Vest has a long, tragic history. You've read Carlo Vock Townway's 2920 series, right? If not, you absolutely must. If I could write something half as satisfying, it would be a dream come true. Only the basics. My great-great-grandmother lived in Gideon for a time before immigrating back to Sentinel, and she brought back all kinds of stories, some joyful, but most tragic. I just wish I could have met her before she passed to the far shores. Oh, you know, star-crossed lovers, murder, betrayal, that sort of thing. But like I said before, I'm done with those tired old cliches. I want facts. That's why we're going straight to the source. My great-great-grandmother may have embellished a bit, what storyteller doesn't? But every tale she told had some seed of truth to it. And after speaking to the people here in Gideon, I'm certain I'm onto something. You'll see. Just you wait. where people see the spirit. Go on and try out the lantern. So here we are, the city gardens. Now, I guess it's time to, uh, time to rouse the spirits, eh? I'm ready. Are you ready? If you're not, we can wait a while. In fact, maybe we should come back tomorrow. Start fresh, you know? Nervous? <laughs> Just look at me. I'm steady as a leaf. Uh, st steady as a rock, I mean. Even so, I prefer that you be the one to use the lantern. It's these damn Red Guard taboos. Undead spirits and creatures will really put us off our appetite. Yes, absolutely. No one ever said writing the world's greatest romance novel would be easy. Goosebumps or no, I'm going to unravel this tale and put it to good use. Now then, let's get on with it before I lose my nerve. 
Perhaps they're near that overturned slab? Who intrudes upon my grief? Giovas is lost. My son is lost. All that remains is sorrow. You, feathers, you can see me? <laughs> it matters little. The miseries of Castle Giovas bind me here. Bind all of us here. We are cursed. Our gardens wither. Our once great walls crumble. And my gentle son feels nothing but heartache. I am Duchess Estella of Castle Giovess. As for the curse, it is the work of a vile trollop named Elizinda. Arcae scorn her soul. My darling boy, Mathen was infatuated with her. And how did she repay his affection? By murdering him in cold blood. I cannot bear to speak of it any more. My poor Mathen. I sense his presence sometimes. He's bound to the place where he died. An old cottage northeast of Giovess. Place where he and Elizinda twisted. Help him. Help my son. Succeed where his mother failed. It worked! I told you it would work! Tall Papa's breeches, what a tale! A ghostly duchess, lusty young nobles, betrayal and murder. This story's got it all. Whew. Is it getting hot out here or is it just me? Yes, tied to a cottage nearby. I can almost picture it. Rustic, secluded, tousled quilts, embers smoldering on the hearth. Gives me the prickles. Almost makes you forget someone likely died there. Something she said does trouble me a bit. The Duchess said the lover's name was Alizinda. That was my great-great-grandmother's name. It can't be a coincidence, can it? She lived in Gideon for a time before moving back to Alakir. Do you think... Do you think my ancestor murdered Mathen? This is the cottage the Duchess mentioned, I think. Not all that romantic, is it? Let's look around. Even an old sack might have treasure inside. Nothing but creaky floorboards and old weeds for me. I knew I should have brought my spectacles. What did you find? May I? Her anguish just jumps off the page, doesn't it? So, Mathen intended to marry someone else and Alizinda killed him in a fit of passion. Can you imagine loving someone so deeply that you end up murdering them? Gods, that's romantic. Sort of. It's a ring of Mara, the sort of ring used in a pledge of marriage. Mathen might have intended to give it to this mysterious fiance or... I'll hang on to the ring. Let's use the lantern. Maybe Mathen can shed some light on this. Who? Who's there? Alicinda, my love. Is it you? So this is Mathen? Gracious! Grandmother Alizinda clearly knew how to pick them. This light, it offers some respite from my sorrows. You have my thanks. I am Mathen Galanus, 
heir to the Duchy of Geoves. What brings you to this place? Curse? Is heartache not curse enough? My great love, Alizinda, poisoned me on the very night I meant to propose to her. Someone deceived her. Told her I meant to marry another. She killed me, yes. But it was an act of jealous grief, not witchcraft. I... I do not know. I've learned that certain objects hold a grip on the soul. Things we treasured in life. In my darkest moments, I sometimes feel drawn to the chapel where they laid my body to rest. I see harsh light glinting off my golden armor. Maybe... These long, gray years make it difficult to think. Seek out the chapel. You will find it to the west, amidst the ruins of the castle. If my armor keeps me in this sorry state, I beg you to find it. Without love, there is nothing for me here. My lady, forgive my impertinence, but you are the very image of my lost love, Alizinda. How could this be? Oh my goodness. I, um, I, I believe I'm her descendant, brave Sir Duke, uh, Baron, whatever. My name's Yasara, by the way. What were we talking about again? You share her spirit, Lady Yasara. At last, fate grants me a kindness. We must help him. That poor soul. Sweet Mora's left tit! What was that all about? Sorry for the language, but... Whew, right? Have you ever met a ghost that gorgeous? Gods, I'm sweating right through this blouse. We should head to the GFS chapel and look for Mathen's armor. Not yet. I've heard some nasty rumors about howling ghosts that wander the castle grounds attacking anyone who draws near. So, we have that to look forward to. Maybe we'll find someone else worth talking to. Hard to say. Well, the lantern draws in spirits that yearn for connection. At least that's what the nice orc who sold it to me said. The ghosts that wander around Gia Vest definitely aren't interested in talking. I don't think so. We're basically offering the stage to any spirit who has something to say. There's no telling who might answer. I'd say it's worked out well so far. Right behind you, partner. I'll catch up to you at the chapel, all right? I need to jot down some notes. Here we are, and not a scrap of golden armor in sight. Let's have a look around. What's that you've got there? Not a golden helm by any chance. A magical incantation. The handwriting is different from Alizinda's journal. That means she can't be responsible for the curse. I knew my ancestor wasn't a sorceress. A murderer? Maybe, but not a sorceress. Of course, this all begs the question. 
Yes, and more importantly, why? The person who cast the spell clearly had an axe to grind. Maybe it was a court wizard or some jilted witch. My novel's less romance and mystery at this point. Let's use the lantern again. Maybe the culprit's here. What are you doing here? Why aren't you caring for my boy? Did you find my dear Mappin? Can't I trust you to locate a simple cottage? How is that possible? It had to be Elizinda. When Mappin died, the Duchy's light died with him. That red guard wench cast us into darkness. If I could just have brought him back, I could have... Yes! Harke, forgive me. I wept over his body in this very chapel for three days without sleep or nourishment. My grief was ocean deep. He was my only boy. And so I cast a simple spell. I tried to draw him back with promises of glory. I failed. I, I cast the spell over his armor and sword, but it went awry. I wrote everything down. You can find my notes in my private study beneath the eastern wall. If you find his helm, breastplate, and shield too, you might be able to set things right. Necromancy? How could she... You! Oh, I see you well enough, Redguard. You think I don't notice the family resemblance? You stay away from my boy! Tava's feathers! Bit touchy, isn't she? Let's find these notes. Catching Maffin's eye gave me butterflies, but catching Estella's eye gives me the shivers. Let's make our way to this private study, carefully. Courage brings victory. His own mother, toying with dark magic in this very room. What a plot twist. You found something. You found Duchess Estella's notes that quickly? Thank Rooped Guy can rely on your eyes. Can barely see a thing in this place. What do they say? Really? Oh. I think I spotted some on the way across the castle grounds. I knew that herbalism workshop would come in handy someday. If we do manage to find the armor, be careful pulling it out of the tangle. Heartsbane's quite deadly. I saw a clump of Heartsbane on the way here. Come on! This way, I think. That's Heartsbane, right? You found his helm? 
We're off to a great start. Sorry, sorry. I feel like we've assembled most of the clues to this mystery, but I just can't shake the feeling that we're missing something here. Well, Duchess Estella got them into the situation, right? She cast the ugly spell that cursed poor Math in, and now we're gathering up the items she used to make this mistake in the first place? It can't be that simple. What are we missing? Maybe, maybe not. She wasn't a professional necromancer. Maybe she missed something too. Remember what Mathen told us? Certain objects take hold of the soul. If that's the case, isn't it odd that we found him in the cottage instead of the chapel? Only one way to find out. Let's use the lantern again. I'm still carrying the ring. If he followed us here, maybe we're onto something. expected to see you again. Why do you summon me? Where are we? It's been so long since I walked the grounds of the castle. I scarcely recognize it. Whatever the place, it is good to speak to someone again. And to see the fair image of my lost love. Spell? Some ill-conceived plot to resurrect me, I presume. Mother never could suppress her passion for the occult. Now we both pay the price. But even so, I feel something else now. Some other force that nags at my soul. Something fairer, softer. My ring of Mara? I had not thought to see it again. I see it clearly now, though. At rest near the heart of the fair Lady Yasara. The course is clear, friend. Gather my armor and rid me of the curse. In the meantime, I will bask in Yasara's glow. Lady Yasara, you bear not only Alicinda's ring, but her spirit as well. Had I a heart, it would pound like a drum at the sight of you. I, uh... <laughs> Thank you, Mathen. Sorry for what happened to you. My friend and I will fix it, I promise. Having you beside me is all I need. Protect Come, the castle. let me no sweep you away. Me. Find my armor and break the curse. Your friend will be safe with me in the meantime. Oh my! What is... what just happened? Nothing to fear, lovely Yasara. I only hope to spend another moment with you. I mean no harm. You are so like Alicinda. You summon me again? Did you find the armor? Where is your lecherous friend? Just like her ancestor, ensnaring her betters, meddling in family affairs. Huh. Mathen should be thanking me for sparing him the pain. Mathen truly meant to marry Elizinda, a woman with no pedigree, no means, and no great talent. She was a no one. I couldn't bear the idea of him throwing his future, and that of our duchy, away over some childish romance. So I spread a rumor. I only meant to split them apart. It was for his own good. Oh, typical of low-bred paupers, she overreacted. Mathen died by her hand, not mine. <laughs> None of this matters. What matters is breaking the curse. I need one last object. The Sword of Giovess. It is in the mausoleum, beneath the Great Bridge, guarded by Calvis Vannon, first Duke of Giovess. Retrieve the sword and bring everything you found to Tavia's tower. If all goes as it should, we can reverse the spell and set both of us free. I don't want that woman lingering near my son any more than you do. 
find the sword and bring it to the tower. Victory is cruel. Defeat is worse. I'm not afraid of you. We can finally end this curse. And now I part with the Lady Yasara as well? Is there nothing you won't take from me? Place the regalia, adventurer. It is well past time we left. Farewell, dear lady. I wish we had more time. Mathen! Why aren't you? Poor Mathen. What went wrong? I am sorry for absconding with dear Lady Yasara. I found myself... conflicted. Torn between two intentions. One in the cursed armor, and another in the Ring of Mara. You sundered Mother's curse, but it seems my soul remains tied to the Ring. Trapped, perhaps. The foul burden of necromancy no longer weighs me down, but my connection to the ring is no less intense. It's passionate, fiery. It's like all my unfulfilled dreams and desires remain bound to that band, and to Lady Yasara. Perhaps part of me still yearns for the warmth of Aetherius, but now... As I behold the beautiful Lady Yasara, I'm given pause. She is so like my beloved Alicinda, with a heart as warm as the sands she walked as a child. I must speak with her. Lady Yasara, light of my afterlife. That ring you carry is the key to my heart. I leave my fate in your hands. My hands? Mathen, what are you saying? If you choose to wear the ring, I will remain by your side. An attentive and loving guardian. Are you serious? Tall Papa, preserve me. Destroy the ring, and I will pass to Aetherius. The choice, my lady, is yours. 
Did I just get a proposal from a ghost? Up until now, the only man who ever wooed me was a stable hand in Bergama. I know I should recoil at this. It's profane, blasphemous, right? But gods, he's cute. And the way he speaks, it's like a dream. Ugh! How could he lay something like this at my feet? I can barely decide which boots to wear most days. When he abducted, I mean, swept me away, he told me his heart was torn to pieces. He said I was the only bomb. He said I was his second chance. I don't know. Aside from the whole ghostly murder victim thing, this is what my heart always yearned for. It's why I write romance novels. The thought that I could bring him love and joy is intoxicating. Still, he deserves peace and rest, right? I want you to stay, Mathen. I really do. But it wouldn't be fair to you or Alizinda. Our friend will destroy the ring. I understand. Yours is a loving heart, Yasara. I pray you find someone worthy to share it with. <laughs> Goodbye, Mathen. Farewell. Ugh. Isn't this always the way? You find the man of your dreams, but it turns out he's the lost soul of a man your ancestor poisoned in a fit of passion 200 years ago. Just my luck. You're right, of course. I'm desperate for some grand romance, but it's no more real than my stories if I act selfishly. Ugh. Let's focus on the good things, right? A curse broken, a writer inspired, and it's all you're doing. Thank you, my friend. Gods, he was gorgeous. I'll find someone eventually. Gods, he was gorgeous. I'll find someone eventually. But I doubt they'll have a chest like that. Are you joking? Of course I'm going to write about this. Tragedy, lies, murder, necromancy, intrigue, true love. This will be a bestseller, guaranteed. More importantly, it will help me remember Mathen. <laughs> no. I have crown blood on my mother's side. The idea that a beloved ancestor who accomplished so much in Sentinel played a role in some salacious and deadly affair? It would not go over well. At all. Better to keep that to myself. I did. At least, I think I did. I've never been one of those women who thinks about marriage and children. That's why I have my novels, right? To revel in the fun part of love. The only part I've ever really been interested in. Maybe. I guess we'll never find out, will we? One thing's for sure. Love is much more complicated than I ever gave it credit for. That shouldn't really come as a surprise to someone who writes about it professionally, but here we are. <laughs>